Hey guys, it's X Dragon Force 101 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade an iPod Touch, iPhone 4, 3, 3, and 3GS, or an iPad running iOS 4.3.3 down to iOS 4.2.1, as you know, because it allows boot animations. So, what we're going to do is we're going to um, connect the device here and then we are going to open up iTunes no we're not going to do that later and then we are going to open up iTunes there we go we're going to get the iPod here I'm going to put this into DFU mode so first of all we're going to turn it off so it should be off and iTunes, iTunes won't, won't recognize it So. Put into DFU mode, guys. Hit home and power button for about 10 seconds. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keep holding the home button. Right when you hear iTunes accept it, it should say iTunes is detected and I put in recovery mode. That is absolutely fine. Just click OK and dismiss it. So we're going to go to a website that well, lots of people use it, called felixbronze.de for slash iPod for slash firmware. There'll be a link in the description if you don't know how to spell that. So you're going to go there and you're going to download the firmware for your device. In my case, it's the iPod Touch 4th generation. 4.2.1. going to hit download. I've already downloaded it, so it's fine. Then you're going to go into iTunes. Wait, no, you're not. First of all, we're going to go into computer. C. Make sure you go into Windows. Scroll down to System32. There we go. System32. And then we have to go into... Oops. Have to go into the folder named Drivers. ETC. And then there should be a file called Hosts. There we go. So what you're going to do is you minimize all other windows. So you just got the desktop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on Hosts. And we're going to copy it. Then we're going to paste it to the desktop. I'm going to right click on hosts and click open and it should ask you what file you want to open it with we're going to click on notepad and click ok then you should have this here and this you will have a diff you will have a line here if you've used iTunes before for restoring you will have a different line here that would have a different string of numbers but what you're going to do is you're going to get this and you're going to paste it in it's 74.208.105.171. I will have that in the description. gs.apple.com. And then, since we've done that, we just close it. And then, what you do is you'd copy your host's file into there. Move and replace, and it should be copied in. Brilliant. We're going to close that. Then, we're going to open up iTunes again. And we're going to get our iPod here, which is blank. And we're going to shift restore. So you hold down the shift button and click restore. It will then ask you to browse for your firmware. Now, if I just connect my device where my firmware is located, I'm going to go to computer, and I'm going to wait for it to detect my device. And it should come up. Give the poor thing a second. Freecom HDD. I'm going to go and locate my stuff here we go so I've got the iPod 4.2.1 firmware there click on that oops double click on that then it'll say iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to iOS 4.2.1 and will verify the restore with Apple so we're gonna click restore okay and um, I'll come back when it's just finished extracting the software Zoom out. At the moment, the iPod's just blank. There should be the chink, white screen, and then the Apple logo. The Apple logo should be there for a while. So I'm just going to switch to the iPod view. We've got a blank progress bar, and iTunes is telling us to wait for the iPod. So we're going to wait while the iPod gets itself ready.
at this point all the iPod is doing is just, you know, scanning through its stuff, getting it already, preparing iPod software for restore, which means it is just ch detecting through it all, wiping everything inside it, getting it all ready. iTunes and restoring iPod software. And about now, the progress bar should start to move. Oh, and I forgot to mention, guys, you will need SHSH blobs saved. If you don't know what they are, what you'll have to do is you'll have to, um, well, what they are, they're little blobs that, um, oh, wait, I'm explaining myself here. Back in iOS 3.0.1, um, Apple used to sign their firmware. They used to um, give it a custom thing so you could restore it from anywhere. Now they don't sign their firmware so that you can, you can't do exactly what I'm doing right now if you want to go back because it'd be so much problem and chaos and it might break your iPod and brick it and stuff. So what Apple did was they stopped signing it. So you have to save your SHSH from a jailbroken device. So you have to have been jailbroken on iOS 4.2.1 already and save your SSH, SH, SH from Cydia by clicking make my life easier from the homepage. So now iTunes is just ready. I'll switch back to that. Verifying the iPod software. At this point, I will zoom out and show you the iPod at the same time. At this point, the iPod has just nearly filled up the progress bar. iTunes is done. And that's it done. Full progress bar complete. So, we're just going to wait a couple of seconds while the iPod reboots. Okay, and iTunes is telling us that um, your iPod has been restored to factory settings. Please use your iPod Connect to it will appear in the iTunes window after it restarts. There we go. That, should, that is your iPod Touch 4th generation or iPhone 4 or iPhone 3 restored to factory settings on 4.2.1. And 4.2.1 is of course the earliest you can get for a computer or an iPad. So we're going to give it a second while it gets itself all started out properly. Your computer should have the chink, the chink should come out in any second and it'll come up with the recovery screen. Connect to iTunes. That's what we're going to do. There's the chink and we're going to put it down on the ground. And I'm just going to set this one up as a new iPod. When it comes up, here we go. Set up as a new iPod. Next Dragon Forces iPod, which is me. Automatically sync songs. And then we are done. And it will ask, and it will of course do the sync, just basic sync to get everything all get ready. Backing up, preparing to sync. Finishing sync. There we go guys, so I'll just show you. iPod Touch 4th generation fully restored, so we're going to go to settings. General. About. And there we go. 4.2.1 8C148. There we go, guys. Um, subscribe if you liked it. Um, I will also have a video in the description telling you how to jailbreak your iOS 4.2.1 device, which is um, what this is, of course. And I will be seeing you later. Goodbye, all.